Today we're going to look at a newspaper article that appeared in the San Francisco Examiner on November 2nd of 1975. It's called, Scandalous Behavior of an Ex-Nun. It says, an ex-nun who has lured southern Italian girls to work for a so-called religious order, Unitas Catholica, with the prospect of becoming members in full standing, has won a new stay on the ground that she is too ill to appear in court in a case which has been pending for seven years. Eugenia Ravasios, 68 years old, who was expelled 23 years ago from the French Order of Our Lady of Apostles for grave reasons which the church has never explained, has continued to wear a habit until she is ordered by the court to desist. She is said to have collected somewhere in the neighborhood of $8 million through her young novices who have been forced to sleep in railroad stations and in abandoned shacks, but always required to collect 10,000 lira, or $16 per day. The charity scope of the money has never been satisfactorily explained, and there are no financial records for the so-called order. She has recruited the girls with impressive ceremonies in the poor areas of southern Italy. Because she herself came from Bergamo, she managed to pass herself off as a distant cousin of Pope John XXIII. With her, facing some of the charges, is Monsignor Domenico Pizzoli, he is said to have received $16,000 from Unitas Catholica on the threat of denouncing the racket to the authorities. In 1962, a number of the girls were arrested for begging and condemned, but a priest of the Order of the Propagation of the Faith intervened and guaranteed the legitimacy of Sister Eugenia's activity. It was not until six years later that one of her recruits, Eleonora Scotti, complained to the police. Since then, she has been joined by ten of the so-called novices. They told of having been given orphans to take with them on their rounds of begging, children who had been rented for the day. They reported that Sister Eugenia said that the funds collected went to the support of a non-existent Anzio institution. Sister Eugenia was arrested, but for one reason or another, she continued to get postponements of hearings. The Vicar of Rome, which had recognized the standing of her so-called order as a charitable organization, restricted her activity in only one way. She was stopped from wearing a full nun's habit, but she was permitted to dress as a religious, a black outfit like that of a nun, but minus the veils. So presumably that is why she went from looking like this to looking like this. After three months of preventive detention, she was allowed to resume full activity and postponement caused her case to drag on for seven full years. Since the trial date was set, her personal earnings for the period of 1956 to 1967 have been ascertained at $1,120,000, but presumed collections are totaled out at $8 million. She has been charged with maltreatment of numerous girls and swindling them out of their livelihood and that the eventual entrance into the religious life was a vain promise and not hers to offer. And here's an illustration of Mother Eugenia that accompanied the article. So it seems that Mother Eugenia was accused of being a scam artist. As I said in past videos, there's a lot of money to be made in miracle mongering. It could well be that Mother Eugenia discovered that she could gain more donations by presenting herself as a visionary. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be back again within a week with another one. But in the meantime, please check out my Facebook page and my Twitter page. Every day I post additional content that you won't find on this YouTube channel. And also, please pray for the church.